Hey YouTube Kayak DIY and right now we're going to go over how you can patch up holes in your kayak. So right now we purchased some of these matching yellow welding rods. You can find hull patching kits on kayakdiy.com under the hull repair uh, category tab in the store. So right now we're going to get started. Uh, we do have a heat gun you'll see here it does have variable temperatures and we also have a soldering iron we actually do have a kit that's called the one of the hobie kits for hull repair and it comes with rods and it looks similar to this but it has a different tip on it and that is a very handy tool as well but for simplicity's sake i'm going to show you guys how to use these tools to do the same thing Let's get started. First off, you're going to want to have some tin foil or some type of aluminum can or so with a hole in it. And that is basically so that you can heat certain areas without affecting the other areas. So right here, we have a hole in the tin foil and we can place it over one of the holes that we want to start patching. And then we can heat up this area. And then we can start doing the welding process using the rods. Okay, we're gonna turn on the heat gun. Right now we're just heating up the area on the kayak that we're going to patch. Right now you can start to feel a little bit of tackiness to the plastic and then you know you're kind of getting up to that temperature. It's nice if you have a variable temp heat gun because you can slowly adjust the temperature. You don't want to burn the plastic, you just want to slowly heat it up. As we heat this up, You'll see a change in color, kind of, and you'll notice that the rod begins to bend. Now you want to keep the distance away with the heat gun because you don't want to burn the welding rod. That'll cause a discoloration and it's just, you're getting it too hot then. As you can see there, I kind of folded the rod on top of itself in the hole. And now I'm going to switch to cooling on the heat gun. Yours might not have this, so if you don't, you can just let it air dry. So as you can see right there, we are able to plug up that hole that was there. And it is pretty much hardened. Now what we would be able to do is we could take a Dremel with a sand bit and we can just sand this down. Okay, so now we have a Dremel with a sand bit on it. We may have to try a few different sand bits to get the right one here. I like to start off with something a little bit softer because I don't want to have, have anything too abrasive that's going to gouge the rest of the kayak.
Okay, so that sanded down pretty smooth and there is now no hole that's there. This is completely sealed up and there is no chance of leaking here. And once it's cooled, it should have the same exact strength of the original hull when it was first uh, molded. This is the finished hull repair. We were later able to remove those black little scratches using a plastic pan kitchen scrubber. Visit us on Facebook. Subscribe to the channel.